Good afternoon, fabulous people. How are we? Oh, there we are. Hello. Oh, wrong button. Come on, technology. Let's do this. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope your day's going good. <gasps> Lynn Simpson, hello. Hello Jackie, hey Queenie. Lynn Simpson, I had a good conversation with your son last night. It was so lovely to hear his, his voice and have a bit of a chit chat and make a little bit of a plan. So that was really, really nice. It was a nice surprise for my Thursday night. Hello, Alana. All right, so I am going to do another little live with you today and I'm gonna create an art journal page. Um, as part of the great international craft show and our Black Friday big brand special. I'm going to, or we've, we've had some fantastic deals. We've had some incredibly awesome deals happening on nataliemay.com.au and uh, watch out on your inboxes. I'm about, I've just sent out a little email just reminding you about some of today's specials. Um, take me out of your spam boxes, girls. So what I thought I might do today, because we have got Tim Holtz products at 20% off, Scrap Effects products at 20% off, and Stamperia products at 20% off, I thought that I would do a little art journal page in my Dina Wakely craft journal. Uh, so we have got, you'll find everything that I'm using today in uh, on nataliemay.com.au and we have got 25% off of Natalie May products, which I'm going to be using some stencils today as well. Uh, right, let's just, here we go. Are you ready for me to make something pretty? Yes is the answer. So this is the, this is Molly. This is the Molly collage paper. There's usually something sitting in here. Uh, this is the Molly collage play, paper. That is one of my designs. Uh, you'll find it on nataliemay.com.au under collage paper and also under, well, we've got it on special, so it's um, gonna be in the special section. And this is the Dina Wakely craft journal that I'm working in today. Now, I love this journal. Oh, why is my screen frozen? Have I frozen everywhere else? No, I haven't, okay, I'm back. Um, so this, this gorgeous journal is really, really easy to work in. And I, it's one of my, my favorite journals to work in at the moment. I'm really very much enjoying it. Uh, the pages are a heavyweight craft. I just have to be careful. There's a couple of pages I can't show you in here. Here we go. Um, it's a heavyweight craft, so it's a it, and it's got a lovely craft background. So I'm going to be creating something super simple, and I'm going to use the distress paints that we had a bit of a play with earlier. Okay, so. Um, we're going to be doing that. Now, I'm gonna use the black and white part of my collage paper today, and I want, I'm want i wanting her to go about here. What I'd like to do first is she's going to need to sit on a white base. Because it's a collage paper, what tends to happen is they have a great translucency to them. So I'm using the Dina Wakely Jess, White Gesso, and I'm just going to very loosely do a bit of this. Give her a white, ba a white base so that her, um, I don't get too much paint underneath where her face is going to sit. 
but I'm going to stretch it out quite long on my page like so big long strokes hello Tina Tina you having your lunch with me oh, Louise and I just had a lovely fresh noodle bowl for lunch sat outside on this on the step out the front and enjoyed that all right so I'm just putting down a little bit of craft I'm still wanting some of that craft cardstock to come through I don't want to completely cover it up uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm thinking I could either cut all the way around here or I could just cut down what am I going to do I know what I'm going to do I'm going to grab a I'm going to tear the paper while this is drying so I've just got some water off to the side here and I'm just going to tear a little bit at a time for this collage paper. So it tears beautifully. So I'm just going to go up there like that. And if you wet the tissue paper, the collage paper first, it, it tears in a, with a nice edge. If you don't wet it, it can be a little bit uh, unpredictable, we'll call that. So uh, welcome to all of you just tuning in. If you missed my live Facebook uh, from my previous little mini class, you can catch that. I've just uploaded it to YouTube. So if you type in Natalie May Scrapbooking on YouTube, you can find it there where we created this morning some really lovely tags using Tim Holtz Distress Paints and some Scrap Effects stamps. Okay, same products as I'm going to use today, but we use them in a different way and I'm just tearing that so soften the paper makes it much easier to tear if I was to cut around that number one you'd be watching me fussy cut for about another 15 minutes and nobody needs to see that um, so tearing it is a much softer way and it does put a nice soft edge as well on on our papers, making it easier to blend into our background. So I'm just gonna go across there. So that's gonna be much easier to pop about there. So I'm gonna use gel medium to stick that down. And again, the one that I've got next to me today is the Dina Wakely gel medium. Uh, let's find a paintbrush. And I'm going to use Oh yeah, that's nearly dry. And I'm going to just use a little bit and just work in a small area at a time. So just like contacting school books. So it's gonna go on like that, just doing a little bit at a time so I can control it. Putting it underneath. It's not overly thick. I'm putting it on reasonably, reasonably light. So of course we know that gel medium is a excellent adhesive for collage papers, for collage papers. Excellent adhesive for working in your journal for thicking, sticking things down. So as I'm going over the top as well, is pushing out any air bubbles from underneath and creating a nice surface that I can work over the top of as well. And it's sealing the paper so that it's not going to be porous. Because of, of course all paper is porous, so quite often what happens is it soaks in anything that we put over the top. So just by adding this gel medium, we are making it porous, uh, making it porous, sealing it so it's not porous. Oh, my screen keeps freezing. There we go. Um, and it's not, freezing. it's not freezing at your end, or it's just me. And now I'm just going to, with my fingers, gently polish off any excess, make sure I've got no air bubbles underneath. So you could use um, any sort of gel medium. There's lots of different ones available on the market. Uh, the Even the Stamperia glue, mixed media glue, works really, really well for this purpose. Um, I do love using it on off the, pro, off the page projects, but my personal favorite at the moment is using it, using the Dina Wakely gel or the Chrome Acryl Impasto. Now this is actually taking off any excess and it's actually speeding up the drying time of my girl. And I've just put, what's on her chin? Oh. What 
What is that? Oh, it's underneath. All right. So she's got a bit of hair. <laughs> she's got a hairy chin. Possibly not ideal, but we'll go with it. Pop the lids back on. And that's as much as I've planned for this particular project. Let's see what else I've got in front of me here that we can use. Hey, that was nice and quick, absolutely. So I'm just going to dry that off. And I need a, I need a piece of plastic. Oh, there's one. Radio. Just can't see any comments. Can't see all your lovely words, people. Okay, let's now go with a plastic bag. I'll slide that off to the side so that I've got this little area here that I can work with. Um, a plastic bag. So the plastic bag, I'm going to use this as a way to transfer my <laughs> a way to transfer the paint onto the page using very similar techniques to what we did earlier today so this is dried off nicely um, now I don't know if you can tell this has actually got a bit of more bit more of a blue tone to it so I don't want to be adding I don't want to go in and add too many random colours. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Distress Paints to uh, add my colour to my background. So these ones, of course, are currently on special uh, at 20% off. So I'm just giving them a good shake before I use. Uh, now, I've got really not too much of a plan here other than I'm just winging it. So I'm going to activate that paint onto my mat Give it a bit of a smush here. And then I thought I might use my plastic bag, kind of like a bit of a glove. But I think I need to think this through a little bit more. Hang on. There we go. Because I need it a bit smaller. And I'm going to, yeah, that works. All right, I've just folded it in half. I'm just being creative. Hello, Sherry, how you going? Hello, Naomi, discount supply at the checkout. Correct. I will explain the sale, Annette, um, as I'm going here. So I'm just gonna make my little finger glove here. So this part, this weekend, as part of the online sale, what we are doing is we are offering different sales, different price specials every day. So what that means is that today we have got a special of just Tim Holtz products, just Scrap FX products, and then we also have on special Stamperia products. Tomorrow we're going to have a different special, okay? We've got something completely different happening tomorrow. So... What we encourage you to do is pop your order through and you pay your postage of $9.95 for your first order. And if you decide that you want to order again tomorrow, which no doubt you will because tomorrow is going to be bigger and better than today, and you don't want to miss out on those great specials that we've got going at the moment, then you need to, you can select no judgment at the checkout, which means that we will collate everything together. This is not at all going like it does in my head, by the way. So we're gonna make it work. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. So we put all of the orders together and on Monday and Tuesday, we will post it out to you. If you are local, you can pick up your order on Wednesday, uh, but you just pay postage, $9.95 postage just one time and then you pay, you can select no judgment and we put all the orders together after that, okay? What's that bag technique called? What's that bag technique called? That's called a hot mess at the moment, thanks Louise. I'm, I'm glad that you've noticed that. But it's getting it on there, so it's a, it's a process. 
I can't get it right every single time. Oh, that's made my day. You can walk away or you're going to be forced to do the next life, Facebook. Uh, for those playing along at home, um, Louise thinks she's pretty funny. Louise is wrong. She's not funny. All right, so I've got a couple of colours. I'm building my colours up in the background. I'm now going to jump on with this purple. So, yes, yeah, so that's what we do with the sale, Annette. I hope that helps you. Uh, so you can build up your orders. Uh, so yesterday we had an amazing special. We have another amazing special tomorrow. Uh, and then I will also be giving you free little demonstrations as well, like we're doing right now. Oh, that purple's nice on the top. Toning it back really, really well. But I'm just working on blending it all through and layering these colours up. Now, this is, like I said, this is about building the, the background, okay? I'm not focused on making it the whole, you know, making the girl look pretty at this stage. And her name is Molly. We are not looking at making Molly look fantastic. We are looking at adding some beautiful colour onto our background and building up some shades. Smushing. We're smushing. Are you reading comments on this post, Louise? <laughs> you might want to. Okay, so because this is an acrylic paint, I'm drying off in between. I will be adding some layers of stamping in a moment and just talk you about getting this colour onto our background. Okay, so I'm going to get some more purple on and maybe wipe off that bit of a mess there. And for those of you just tuning in for the first time, um, there is a bit of a plan going on here. Uh, so Annette's just commented saying, yes, thank you, have some items in your cart for today. All right, just a bit of a hot tip. A few people have contacted me and said, oh, Natalie, I've got some items in my cart. I'll put them through later. Um, a lot of the products are really not lasting that long in the store. Okay. Um, I would hate for you guys to miss out and those items not be available when you process your car. So you can put through as many orders as you like on the proviso that you just pay postage that one time of $9.95 or $14.95 for express post. Um, or if you are international, there you pay your international rates. But yes, we will um, certainly. It's in your cart doesn't hold the product. Yeah, just because it's in your cart, um, the system will not hold your product just because it's in your cart. So you might just want to slide those through before you miss out. There's quite a few things that we're really, really low on, so um, which is very exciting for us, not so great for you. Um, all right, I've just dirtied her neck there, and I'm just quickly going to... There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring it up to screen, and you can see how the colours are... It's a bit of a hot mess, but they are layering up on top of each other, okay? It is working rather well. Uh, Lou, do you think you could grab my water bottle for me, please? It's just out of arm's reach. I'm not working up a sweat. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to add some speckled egg. Actually, I'm going to add that last. Thanks, babe. Champion. Right, so one of the colours I used earlier, I'm just going to... I'm not going to dilute this. I'm going to grab it and smush it on. It's just pulling really nicely. And I'm just going to add some lovely little highlights. Yeah, okay. Okay. May have redeemed myself. And knowing when to stop is important. <laughs> 
What's that bit there? Hair? No, the hair's on her chin. Look. Oh, it is too. I know. That's okay. Apparently she's in menopause, <laughs> according to the lovely Tina. All right, I'm going to dry that off, and then we're going to add some stamping to it and then work on blending the rest of her into the page uh, with a few scrap effect stamps. I have a Natalie May scrapbooking stencil here ready to use and my trusty black pen. How does that sound? Sounds like a good combo. But I am making sure that everything under here is totally dry first. Okay, so we're getting there. Oh, hello, Amy Morgan. How are you, my friend? Are you well? Are you happy? Are you healthy? Are you ticking all those boxes to, on this fabulous Friday? Hello, Sandy. She's looking gorgeous already. Thank you. It's just a, a splodge of colour on the page, but it's working. It's working. Okay. Let's get on with some, let's use my my lumps. This stencil is one of the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils called My Lumps, named after a very, very awesome song by the Black Eyed Peas that sticks in my head at all of the times. Now, I hope you're all singing it to yourselves because I know I am and I, I'm going to do you the, do you the honour of not singing it out loud because nobody needs to hear that. So I'm going to be using my Ranger blending tool with a almost clean sponge and I'm going to be adding some lumps. Yes, of course, it's named after that song. And I might go in with a little bit of lightness. So I'm going to use the speckled egg. <laughs> now you're all singing it. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Okay, surely someone's got a GIF or a, a sound bite there. All right, so I'm gonna use a stencil and add some light dabbing of color, which is gonna sit over the top. Do we have any stitches, any embroiderers in the house? Anyone here who likes to do a little, uh, as we like to call it, a little stitch and bitch? A little stitch, make pretty things with embroidery thread, other than Amy Morgan. Who's but, on crutches? Who's on crutches? Why? What did she say? No. I'm on crutches. Oh, I missed that comment. Um, the lovely Amy has a business. If you would like to pop your link up in the in there, Amy. Um, Amy has a fabulous, fabulous business called Amy Calissa. And the Amy, lovely Amy, does the most incredible, incredible kit. Do you still do a kit club or a subscription? Running injury. Oh, up the post office stairs. <laughs> First world problems, isn't it? I hope you're okay. Sorry, that was me being sympathetic. Not my, not my superpower. Okay, dabbing it on just like that. And it's just adding just a little shadowing to the background. Yeah, you can just type in Amy Calissa. Yeah, she, um, so Amy does some incredibly, incredibly awesome designs. Um, Amy once promised me to, promised that she would make a little badge of my face that she was teaching at a Craft Alive event, but she never followed through with that promise. Just saying. Okay, so you can see how that's on there, and I'm just going to gently wipe that paint off. And I'm going to give that a moment to dry. Yeah, Naomi's on crutches as well. So hers is netball in injury. Um, so poor Naomi is feeling a little ordinary in that sense. All right, so that's looking okay. I'm on the right track here. It's all about layers. Uh, next I might go with, I've got this kind of loopy effect happening, so let's think about how I can build on that. I have got some foam stamps from Scrap Effects. Okay. 
And I might just, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna go with the dots and I'm going to go with the words. Now, like I said earlier today, I have a personal stash here of these really amazing stamps from Scrap Effects. Now, they have been in my stash here for quite some time. Uh, the ones that I'm using, I can't tell you for sure if we have them in stock. But what I can tell you is that uh, we've got something very, very similar. I'm just going to grab a couple of other ink colours. I won't be a moment. And I have just wanted to grab my Coordinating Distress Oxides. Uh, so I have used Prize Ribbon. So we have Prize Ribbon in the Oxide. I have also used Broken China. And I've got no idea if that's here. It's not, so that's okay. We've got Speckled Egg, I used that. Where's my Broken China? That Broken China is a Distress Ink, and I didn't really want to go for that. So let's have a think. Might just crack out that one. Seems all you girls are in the wars. That's a bit sucky, isn't it? Okay, we might start with some prize ribbon. So what I love about these foam stamps, and I was chatting earlier, the cool thing is, is they come with this piece of plastic on them, which is really, really great. Um, and then you can, I've just added some washi tape on the back, just to help me create a little bit of a handle, so it's a bit easier to hold, all right? So nothing more than a bit of washi tape with the fold in it, that will help you. Um, the stamps are super easy to use. So I don't want this to be super strong or super bright. Prize ribbon can be quite a bold colour um, in, in an ink. So I'm just going to go straight in over the top here and oh, put it on straight. Give it some pressure with my fingers. Oh, perfect. And it's created a really lovely shadow because it's all about building colour up in the background here. That is, my, that is my main aim here. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to achieve, believe it or not. And one up the top. The dots are sold out. Okay, sorry that the dots are sold out. We will be getting them in again soon. Um, but give you a bit of an idea. Like I said, I am using, rather than opening something brand new up every single time, I have chosen to use what's in my stash and show you how clever and effective they can be. And just gonna add a couple more dots up the side here. So I am using the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in prize ribbon and just adding a lovely shadow of dots all the way around. Uh, I am also going to use Chipped Sapphire or Uncharted Mariner. Ooh, Uncharted Mariner. So this is the Oxide, and I'm just going to use the Scrap Effects. It's just a word, wordy one. Oh yeah, there we go. And I'm keeping the background all around the same sort of size, just so, same size, same colorings, so that it doesn't get too messy. Because when it gets messy, it's hard to look at. Your eyes, if you start adding in extra colors, your eyes can struggle with trying to focus on, on the main element, which this is our focal point, okay? This is our hero piece right here. Um, so a couple of other things just while I'm adding this colour on. You can join in on one of our art journal classes. We here at Natalie May Scrapbooking, I offer art journaling classes online and they have a, you have lifetime access to them, which means that you can jump on at any time and do the class. You can go back and do classes from 2021 if you want to. There's plenty of options to suit absolutely everyone. 
Um, the classes are easy. You are using the items that you have at home. We have a fantastic community of ladies who and a couple of gentlemen who love creating. Very encouraging words. Um, I currently have a bit of a special going as well. If you purchase all of your classes for next year, all in one hit, then you will be rewarded with a discount. Um, so we do look after you. Because I know that there's a lot of you out there who like to jump in and do a, a few classes. Um, but we do a monthly class. You do need to start from a 1988. Good, good point, Annie. Um, so yes, you can jump on and there's a beginner's art journal class in there as well if you want to learn the the Natalie May way of art journaling. We keep it really, really simple and it's something that anybody can do. Alrighty, so I'm just, this background is actually building up really, really quite nicely. I'm just gonna finish it off with a couple of lighter spots, but I'm making sure I, it's totally dry before I add that in. I'm gonna use speckled egg and I have got here, let's go into my little basket of goodies. Here's one, and I'm gonna pop some tape on the back of that because it's gonna be a bit harder to hold. And I'm just feel, not feeling the coordination today. How am I going for time? What's the time, Lou? Oh, look at my watch. Oh, I'm all right, only half an hour. Laughing. All right. Making up a little Pop that on there, fold it back, fold it back on itself and stick that baby down and I've made a lovely little handle. So we've got speckled egg and I'm just gonna add some foam stamps with speckled egg up around here, or down here I should say. And things have to happen in threes so I'll take it off the page. It's lovely and light. And it's a lovely shade going over the top of these darker ones. And that's something really awesome that Tim Holtz uh, Distress Paints do as well as his Distress Oxides. So I chose the circle stamp because it ties in with the circle flowers that we've got going on here. Beautiful. Oh, look, and you can stamp the back of your hand and it looks pretty. Okay, we have got... Oh, everybody seems to be in the wars. Goodness me. I'm going to bring that up to camera to show you. So it's a creative hot mess. Okay, coolio. Quickly going to add some splatters and then I'm going to work on her face, add some fancy title and we finished. It's done. Don't overthink it, don't overdo it. So I'm just gonna take the paint, give it a bit more water. I have a thin paintbrush, and I'm gonna put some paper towel over the area where I don't want any splatters to go. Because if you are not great with a splatter, then we need to mask off our area. You need to uh, tell Tina that there's no classes up that I have done. I don't know what you're talking about because I can't see the comments. Tina's asked what class I have done. Oh, what class? Well, Louise, what class Louise is doing? No. You can come in here and talk because I can't. I don't know what you're talking about. I've missed it. I'm, I'm concentrating on creating and I'm not reading the comments. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Just letting that dry. Tina, uh-huh. Yeah, I would love to see Louise create, but um, that's not her superpower, and we are perfectly fine with that. All right, it's coming together. I'm going to grab my... The Life of Colour black pen and my 
Oh yeah, there we go. I put it somewhere safe. It was probably here the whole time. Oh, it was. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. All right. So, Life of Colour pens are fabulous. These are a, an Australian company. They do a wonderful, wonderful paint pen. This is one of the fine paint pens. I'm going to use it to outline and I'm going to, I need to prime it first um, and I need to colour her, but I want to do colour her face last. So I'll show you how to prime the pens. I have to get it out of the plastic first. There we go. Unwrap. And give it a really, really, really good shake. Um, and then we're going to prime it. We're going to get that magic to happen. So the way that I prime a pen is I shake it. And then, of course, we're looking at this here. We've got a white tip. I then hold it down and press it down a few times to activate that ink and it's taken three good pushes for the ink to start hitting the nib the paint sorry because it's a paint pen and on the fourth it's all come through so I can now do that and this is the fine so you can get the fine pens from Life of Colour in a set of black and white fine pens. The white is also very, very good. And they are a paint pen, which is something that is great. The colour range are fabulous. And I will not be having these on special at all this weekend. So if you're going to hold out and go, oh no, Natalie's probably going to put them on special. I'm not. But don't tell anybody. Uh, so I'm just doing a lovely little outline. Amy, yes, we do. If you have a look on our website, you will find in the side menu a whole tab called Life of Colour. The brush script ones are my personal favourite at the moment, but I do love this thin black one. Obviously so well that I couldn't find my other one. Uh, so there we go. I have now done that nice little black border. I'm going to use some watercolours to add some colour to her face quickly. And I'm using the Natalie May Scrapbooking watercolours. These are currently on special just for you. And using, like I was showing you yesterday, a couple of things that will help you when you have when you are watercolouring is you don't want to take the water straight from the palette and you don't want to put your paintbrush onto dry watercolours. So I take my water spray and I wet all my watercolours first. So I'm going to start out with my yellow. I then mix some yellow onto here so that I know that I've got a nice amount of yellow. And then I'm just going to lightly brush that colour super lightly over her crown and I'm not going for perfection here I'm going for a really lovely loose wash of color that's all it needs and this is where it's also really important that we uh, we colored sorry we sealed our collage paper okay so I'm going to make a new colour here. I've got the purple and the blue and I've mixed them together to create this beautiful tone of, or oh, I don't know, it's a bit like Dilusion's Periwinkle. But I just want to add it over the top here. Really lightly working that colour in.
and then a little on this flower here. Some green leaves. But because I'm worried that the green will stand out too much, so I'm going to take some of the green and mix it with some of the blue to create a new shade of green that's closer so it doesn't stand out too much. Working that into the collage paper. Oh, and I missed a couple of flowers up the top there. And now I can go back to those colours because they're still sitting here on my mat. And apparently I missed the top of her crown. Got it. Alright. Doing her face, you could... Uh, there's lots of things that you can do within to, to colour her face. Yesterday I showed you all how to make a skin tone. So I'm going to grab some orange on my mat here, some white, and I'm aiming for a Caucasian skin tone, and I'm going to grab a little bit of pink, and I'm going to add that in off the side, and on my little colour swatch here has gone way too pink, so I'm going to add in some more white, a lot more white, and just keep mixing around with my colours until I get something that I am happy with. Which is about here. And now I know that I can grab a, a thicker paintbrush and I'm going to spread that color around on her face. And a bolder paintbrush is gonna make the color a lot lighter as well. In fact, I've gotta add some more white, there we go. And it's because the gel medium has sealed the collage paper it's often a little bit of a like a resist which is really really handy at this point so what's happened is it's really really lightly taken that color which is ideal because I didn't want it too strong I'm gonna add some rosy cheeks on her and then with my as you can see with my paintbrush I'm just taking off the excess paint and making her cheeks just a little bit rosier here and here. Let's not overthink it. <laughs> What's going on? No, Amy, I'm crap at skin cups, skin tones. They always look sunburned. <laughs> okay, so the way that you avoid sunburn is to build your color. I'm not great at it either, Naomi, but in saying that, my number one thing is is I don't overdo it. I and I and knowing when to stop is is so important. I the minute that you, you put your brush down and you go, oh yeah, no, nah, I shouldn't have done that, which I'm about to do with the blue eyeshadow, but you know. You can build up the colour. You can always build up colour. It's a lot easier to take to put on than it is to take off, as you all know. So, in saying that, less is best. And I will bring it up to camera in a minute so that you can see how light and it really is. Um, and I'm going to now make a colour here just to do that bit. All right, let's get those babies out of the way and let's have a look at her face. I think definitely the key is to not overwork it, ex except for her hairy chin. Um, <laughs> overworking it is just going to become a nightmare. But if you just go in with the less is best option and build it up from there, it can't go as bad, okay? And have some confidence in your abilities, girls. For goodness sakes. Maybe that's just a life scar. It's a life scar? Yeah, she got run over by a car as a kid. She got run over by a car as a kid and here is the scar on her 
the chin. Excellent. Fell out of a tree. Fell out of a tree? Okay, we'll go with fell out of a tree. You Can should you add a mole. I'm not going to add a mole to that hair because I can't, once I put a mole on there, you can't take that back. All right, so this is Molly. She's coming together really nicely. I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun quickly. And then I'm going to write a little title on there and we have finished this page. Because it's about a creative process. Art journaling is a creative process process okay will you girls rein it in a bit please look at your look at your comments goodness me anyone would think i'm not a professional what is going on here hang on a minute obviously i didn't let that blend in but because it's watercolor and it hasn't soaked in it's no oh no it's on there let's commit one extra long hair oh you can hear louise in the background naomi oh good <laughs> yeah, we are very much a tell it how it is business for those of you who are tuning in for the first time. All right, let's come up with a, since you guys are all on fire today, let's come up with a witty phrase to pop on here for my girl today. Okay, let's see. She does look like Irene from Home and Away with that blue eyeshadow. Bless. Let's see what comments, what sort of things we can come up with. Don't, don't judge the hair on my chinny chin chin. Thanks, Louise. Well, you're not going to go with that. This is one of the um, Life of Colour brush tip pens, and I'm just adding a little depth to that bit there and that bit there over the top. 100%. <laughs> Nothing a laser appointment can't fix. Thanks, Sandy. That's... um. Actually, funny you should say that. I just got a text message. Is everybody else being bombarded by text messages today with Black Friday? I just got one from a laser hair, hair, hair removal place just a moment ago. All right, I'm just defining her crown because I had underneath, of course, some of that distress paint. I'm just giving it some depth on those edges. There we go. All right, do the lyrics from Home and Away. Home and a Pigeon. Home and Away. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Okay. Phones have gone, your phones have gone crazy today too. What I'm actually going to do, so the, the collage paper comes with some wonderful phrases. Um, I don't just want to stick that on there because it's white and it's going to stand out. Oh, on a bad day, there's always lippy. Good point, but she's wearing black lipstick, so... Um, I'm going to just go straight in with my black pen and I'm going to write this quote since you girls are not coming up with the goods for me. And for some reason, this is something that I can't talk at the same time and do. Hold your tongue here. I am holding my tongue. Done. I know you're all hilarious. <laughs> all right, so I have just handwritten that on there. It does actually show up a lot better than it does on on camera. Noise, it's unusual. It's north. Did everybody watch that this week? Oh, my ring light's crashed. Hang on a minute. Love a bit of Kimmy. All right, so I'm I'm. 
heading towards being happy with that. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. I am going to add a few little black spots up the top here because as I mentioned earlier, black and white give dimension. So a few little black spots around the place for balance can work. Yet yeah, life's too short to not laugh at yourself, right? I think Louise and I spend the first and the last two hours of our day sending each other bad memes on Instagram and laughing. I know I spend a lot of time laughing out loud at about 10.30 at night when my phone goes ding, ding, ding and we get all these messages through from Lou. Very funny. Not an invitation to spam me, by the way, people. Just putting that out there. All right, I am loving that. So just to touch base on what has happened here. Today, I <laughs> today I as part of the Black Friday big brand special on nataliemay.com.au, we have got Tim Holtz, Scrap Effects and Stamperia products on special. So I have used my Dina Wakeley journal. I have used Gesso in the background. Then I used one of the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers. So this is Molly, and I used the black and white element of Molly. Uh, and I'll come back to you in a minute, Amy. And I gel mediumed her down to the page. We then used the Tim Holtz Distress Paints, and to quote Tina, we splodged them onto the page. We added our color on, we added some stamps, we added some stencils. We used four colors only. The four colors that we used were Broken China, Prize Ribbon, Dusty Concord, and that last one is Speckled Egg. We stamped using some of the Scrap FX stamps, and these are foam stamps. They come on an acrylic piece like this which is awesome um, there's a huge range available uh, we then used a life of color black paint pen this is the fine tip and I showed you how to prime that we did a little doodle on the outside because we love a little doodle drew the title and watercolored our face now Amy has asked the question question were I, was I using a hairdryer or a heat gun to dry um, Amy, I'm actually using a heat gun. Uh, the one that I use, I've got one that is particularly quiet for filming. But normally I would use a, I've got a pink one and we currently have them on special for $14.95. They, a heat gun is going to push out hot air at the right temperature where things are not gonna burst into flames, right? If you use a hairdryer, it tends to blow things off of your page. So if I was using a hairdryer to dry that, these puddles of color under here would have just turned into tears coming off her face, which actually would have been really effective, but not ideal. So you do want a heat tool that is gonna to push out heat, not a hairdryer. A hairdryer is not going to work, okay? So $14.95. Clearly, it's already in your cart, Amy. Um, of course it is. And pop yourself a Natalie May scrapbooking stubby holder in there at the same time, okay? Could anything be any more Australian? Because Natalie May products are also on special at 25% off. So there you go. So jump online, girls. Do yourselves a favor. I will be back at 3.30 and I'm gonna make some Christmas reindeers. I know, that's a big statement, isn't it? I'm gonna make some scrap effects Christmas things and that's as festive as you're gonna get out of me for this online show. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Pop into the Natalie May uh, scrapbooking creative community and say hi, introduce yourself and uh, share your love around. And we look forward to chatting with you soon. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you shortly. Bye.